Welcome back to Guildmates. As always, I'm Ghostly Snow Demon, and we're back here with an Outriders video doing more on the Outriders mission. This time we're doing the third one down the line, which is called Satellite Uplink Node. And remember, these are all nodes by Dr. Azira Zahidi from the character that you, or the scientist that you help in the game. To restrict access to the floor's advanced computer system from the surface of Enoch, the ECA designed the ARC ship communications to be highly encrypted signals that could only be decrypted and re-encrypted by SLA of the notes, which doesn't make sense to me. Yes, I get to encrypt thing, but you're literally the only ship. Who the hell is gonna hack you? Around the time of the first big anomaly storm, however, connections to the floors became very unstable due to the signal interference caused by the anomaly. There are no more than a few satellite uplink nodes built, given to the president and other high-ranking officials in the ECA. Most were destroyed during the massacre of the ECA's leadership by the altered insurgents. Others were lost during the riots in the first city. The only way connect contact the floors is to recover these lost nodes in case in a mega mu metal casings which spoilers is the thing that you carry around or one of the things you help carry around to get to the end of the of the story there remains the possibility that one or more nodes could still be intact from any damage the anomaly can cause to it as as long as they have remained sealed and unopened as the case that the Zahidi had it is crucial that after obtaining the satellite uplink node, I find a place beyond the anomaly's influence where I can safely open the case and activate it. Originally, the nodes would have allowed the user to upload and download data from the floor's computers. This would include satellite imagery taken from the ship's planet, facing cameras, stellar observation from the telescopes, interplanetary communications, if such an opportunity became possible ever again, and finally, most importantly, remote access to the supply pods still attached to the ship, which is why in the mission you go and do that. There is every reason to believe that any one of these mission critical elements will fail. The floor systems, the pods launch, the node itself. Even a hairline fracture in the Mu metal case will make the entire operation pointless, but still, I must try, I must try. And therefore you go and get to the end of the missions and you will see what happens. So I'll spoil the little things, but I'm not gonna spoil the end like that. Hope you guys enjoyed that little lore video, and as always, I'm Ghostly Snow Demon. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit or comment down below to let me know what you thought. And as always, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I usually try to hit that 8 o'clock mark. I do my best. Not always going to be exact. I will warn you there. Till next time, I'll see you guildmates later.